Welcome to Media Beat on MediaBistro.com. I'm Donya Blaze, Managing Editor, and we are joined today by Devon Franklin. He is the VP of Production for Columbia Pictures and Sony Pictures. Devon, welcome. Thank you so much, Donya. Nice to be here. Thanks for coming. So I was reading your, into your bio, which is really amazing to me, that you started out as an intern for Will Smith's Overbrook Productions, mm -hmm. and now you're VP of Sony behind such hit films like The Pursuit of Happiness, Hancock, Jumping the Broom, which is in theaters now. I mean, how do you go from intern to now basically running the show and, and dictating which, which projects get greenlit? <laughs> well, to I being a big I'm, man. I'm not running the show yet, <laughs> you know. I mean, getting the green light power, you know, that's, that's a still a, a number of rungs above me. Okay. But, uh, you know, it really just comes from, I started interning when I was, uh, you know, 18 years old. Uh, you know, and, and really knew that I wanted to pursue film and was very focused about that. Mm -hmm. And so it's just been a, you know, I mean, a long, hard, persistent, consistent, you know, uh, going up the ladder. You know, I mean, every step, I mean, from intern to assistant to junior executive to executive. I mean, it's, it's you know, I mean, we, I've been doing it for at least 15 years. So I know it seems like, hey, it just happened, but it's really been a long, methodical process. And I still have a long way to go. I mean, I, I really feel like I'm just getting started. So tell us exactly what you do in your day-to-day -day mm -hmm. for those who have no Absolutely. idea how a film gets made. I know, because so many people have no idea. Okay, how does the studio yeah. work? I understand a producer, <laughs> and I know that a movie gets to the theater, but how does it happen? So my job as a studio executive, so with Jumping the Broom, for example, I bought the script. So it requires a studio executive to purchase the material, to work with the producers and the director to develop the material and get that material ready for production. So in my capacity, I'm out there looking for great books, great scripts, great ideas that can then make great mm -hmm. films. And it's my job to oversee that entire process uh, from development all the way through production to the point where you get a chance to see it. Wow. And in your book, uh, which is out now, let's yes. hold it up for everybody, yes. it's called Produced by Faith, and you talk very openly about how your faith in God and yeah. your spiritual foundation is really responsible for your success Absolutely. in the film business. Um, and we've seen there are more uh, religious-themed movies out now. Mm -hmm. Tyler Perry really made a name for himself by including mm -hmm. spirituality in his films. Why do you think it's taken so long for that to become mainstream. You know, I think part of it is, is just um, needing to understand that there's an audience, you know, and that the audience is ready, you know, for, you know, quality material and ready for, you know, movies that deal with faith. You know, so I think, and then also part of it is on the creative side, you know, having the right producers and directors and writers that know how to craft stories uh, that can tap into the audience. And I do think that in general, when you look at what's going on in the world and, and where kind of how things are, uh, people are looking to go to this, the theater and find hope and mm -hmm. to get inspired and to be encouraged. And I think when you have faith in a film uh, and you do it right, it can do that. Um, and there was a little, there's a, been debate going on for a long time, mm -hmm. uh, Tyler Perry versus the Spike Lees of the world. Yeah. Um, and it seems like people are divided into two camps. Either they believe, either they agree with Spike mm -hmm. that certain films are setting black people back, for lack of mm -hmm. a better phrase, or they side with Tyler and mm -hmm. say, look, he's appealing to a broader swath of people and he's successful. Mm -hmm. Why do you think that it has to be an either or with this well, debate? Or does I, it? I, it doesn't. It doesn't. And I think that we shouldn't fall into that. Mm -hmm. There is room uh, for everyone, you know, mm -hmm. for Tyler, for Spike. I mean, there's room for all different types of filmmakers and all different types of filmmakers of color. Our experience is incredible rich and diverse so why would we allow ourselves to be subject to a dialogue that uh, that doesn't represent that mm -hmm. you know and say oh it's got to be this or that no listen the audience is big there's a lot of people out there and there's room for different types of tastes mm -hmm. in movie going so mm -hmm. we need to stop playing in this debate you know we need to support everybody and go see the movies that you like to see period mm -hmm. but we shouldn't get into this thing of either or in this different camps because it's just not true mm -hmm. and you know would you ever say hey um, I'm going to go see uh, the Jerry Bruckheimer movie over going to see the Brian Grazer movie? No, we wouldn't, it, doesn't even, it, it doesn't even make right. sense. So we shouldn't allow ourselves to, to either you know, fall into that conversation. We should keep it positive. Let's keep making great films. It's hard enough to get a film made, so let's make great films. Let's champion new filmmakers and let the audience decide which films they want to see, and we go from there. All right, well, this is Devon Franklin. He's the VP of production for Sony Pictures and Columbia Pictures. He's got a new book out, which I want to talk about in yes. our next segment. All right. And that is all about how his faith and belief in God is responsible for his success. So tune in for segment two with Devon Franklin here on Media Beat on MediaBistro.com.